the database. So I'll create a row and it will be equal to my dbh um, maybe I should create the query before that let's create the query here query is equal to select all from sessions where user user ID what did I call it select from sessions structure session ID yeah oh my god I should also uh, have I should also have stuff like user uh, show so we should know which user is uh, user ID I'm gonna be adding that session user ID length doesn't have length really let's put 10 because I won't have it there we go added that to my structure user ID where user sessions dot user they call it session session oh my god So now we can check whether my row, what is called sessions user ID is greater than zero. This is what I would do. Oh, where did the, that come from? And then we can then we can check the cookies. So if my row this is equal to this and just copy this couple more times this and this and this here and this here if they're all equal and then also if the same goes for session I'm gonna copy the stuff for my session We'll call it the same. So if that all is true, we return true. Bam. And now we can go back to our login, check the state, func. Um, header should include the functions. functions.php so we can make use of this check login in state pass uh, it the dbh we took from header which took it from config so now if we are not logged in we wanted to show us the 
we want it to show us the login sorry I did a mistake here so here we will say welcome let's put this once here here we will say oh, dang it session I hate this uh, dollar sign it's really annoying welcome username what did I call it here yeah username and okay so else we will change the header to oops we will change the header to um, to login There we go. So let's see what changed. It's probably nothing really. Mm. Let's see for login. Wait, login? Oh my god made a mistake this uh, goes for something else this is what goes for index okay so yeah the login is not there login is something completely different Yeah, see, it changes because we're not logged in. So here we can make of the check login state again. Check login state. TBH. And we'll take a username from our post because this will launch itself as soon as we log in so uh, yeah before we do that we should check whether it's set or not is set post username and is set post password so if it's set we get it from the post uh, we get it from post if it's not set we obviously don't um, instead we will display our login form so I'm gonna write some login form stuff instead of here we will say you are lo already logged in or something like that so just to notify that we don't need you are already oh no let's change the header to okay that's good so now a little bit more mysql statements getting my dbh uh, writing my query query select like it in capitals select from users where 
username what did I call it so I, <laughs> I called it with a prefix but user username user username is equal to username and user password is equal to password now we can basically copy uh, the function from here so almost not uh, entirely but fetch a sock if row id oops is greater than zero then we will call a function which we have not yet created create record with row id and row user username and we have here user id is it user user id user id there we go and once we've done that, oh, that won't make sense at all. We change the header to location index.php. And so, yeah, let's head over to create the records. So the records will really require us to do certain things. We said, or yeah, the article said, or yeah, the post stated that we need to generate unguessable sequences of characters and letters and 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 so this is what we'll have to do public static function Create. What was it called? I don't know. Let's call it uh, create string. I give it a length. So this will have a st string which is equal to some like one, two. There we go. This should be fine. Now I will create an S, just empty, we'll create a R new for random, new random, which is also nothing, and an R old, which is equal to R new, but in this case it doesn't matter because we've uh, created the first time. So I will create a for loop i equals one and now we can create our string so I don't want it to generate the same characters two times in a row so I'm gonna do this check r new so if they equal the new random uh, character and the old one then I will be or yeah while they are equal I will create a new new rand oh yeah let's put it with uh, these guys here so this is 20, 61, 61, this is 0, then we do this. Um, yeah. Else r old is equal to r 
new and s is equal to s dot string because we can obviously get it as an array are new new random and at the end we return our s create string is uh, right here so we can check it out if we if check login state header login and da -da. create record right let's leave this we will func create string length of 32 and echo it out so once I run my okay there's a problem why is there a problem index as well why is there a problem func create string if we are locked in then it doesn't make sense that we do this there we go and here admin admin what is this pdo statement invalid num parameter number line 9 warning by the way warning undefined variable 19 in login in login 19 undefined variable all oh right i copied it straight but didn't change it so it doesn't uh, make sense it doesn't even need all the stuff so it's fine just get rid of this line 23 undefined index id of course i named it with prefixes now i pay for it resend and there we go there is our string looks pretty cool by the way 32 characters we can make a 64 doesn't actually matter at this point you can change it any time i just wanted to see if it works and yeah that's it for now for this session how much do i have for video content almost an hour so yeah i'll continue this uh, later on just gonna make a note note thing note txt for me create record function so yeah thank you for watching and see you in the next uh, episode or oh, yeah it's gonna be not one episode it's gonna be like three episodes maybe but anyway see you next time peace out